Hello guys, this is Neo Designs HD here, and I'm ready to talk about how to do the cool dots text effect. I think this is a really cool effect, and actually, first create a new document by holding Command N. I'm going to resize it by 12 fairy by 720. Okay, now I'm going to double click in the background and press OK. Now I'm going to double click and go to color overlay. Sorry, gradient overlay. And then go to gradient and I'm going to change the first color to a lighter gray. There we go. And press OK. Now check reverse and change the style to radio. I'm going to change the angle to about zero so it creates this like cool background I really like it so create a new layer and we're going to create a new text I'm going to use the 150 and for fun I use Boris Black Box which you can be found on Google okay and now write anything you want in my case I will write cool Okay, now we have to go to the brush and go to the to the brush settings and go to spacing, check it and go about a hundred and forty. So now I'm going to test it so if it fits the letter because I'm going to do three rows like this so I think that's really big if you understand this you'll understand it later um, yeah I think that's right now go to the pen tool and go to the middle of the letter and start doing the path of a C There we go. You can take more time doing this because mine is it's not the best right now. Okay, now when you finish, right click and go to stroke path and go to brush and press OK. And as you see, it created like a path of the dots, and that's what we want. So I'm going to right click the lid, the path, and do another one. I will actually make three rows. So. There we go. Okay, that's the second row. And stroke path. And I want to delete it again. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to do this. this the last line. And. There we go. Okay, now mm, let's see. Okay, we finished. We go again to right click and stroke pass. Okay, now we have uh, the th the third row, and I'm going to do the same thing with an O. Actually, the O will be way easier because we this will let us do the path in a circle way, so it will be easier and will be faster. There we go, now we right click and do the stroke pad, press OK. So that's really easy. Let's see. Ah, sorry, I forgot to delete the path. Um, let's see. Yeah, there we go, right click, stroke pad press ok and we're going to do the third one and right click stroke back there we go okay guys I will fast forward the second O and the L 
so this tutorial doesn't take forever. Okay, and now I have finished the O and the L, so let's continue. Okay, now I, I raised the font, so we only have the dots. Command click on the square so it's selected. Now go to the gradient. And I have one gradient that is like a rainbow. And there we go. Now we have this like we have the red, the yellow and the green. So I think it looks really cool. Okay now we're going to right click with Kate. Okay, this will be the front layer. So we have the original and the the background layer. Oh guys never mind I skip a step where I hit command T and right click and select perspective. This will make it look like 3D plus the effect I will add later. Okay, I will position out there. Perspective. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate it. Right click duplicate layer. And actually I'm going to call this effect because there will be the this will be the um, the layer that will be affected with the effect of apply so it looks like a trading. So I'm going to select the C and right click and layer be a cut. Now I have the C on a new layer. Okay, now go to effect again, select the first O and do the exact same thing. Right click, layer be a cut. Okay, don't worry if you select the first O because it won't, it won't affect it because the first O is now in a new layer. So, layer be a cut. And actually, we have the O in a separate layer. So, now we have all the letters with their own layer. So, we can apply the effects individually. Okay, now right click, go to blur, and go to motion blur. I'm going to bring the distance to, uh, to 90, 99, press OK. Now we have like these lines on the C and I'm going to duplicate it four times in total and then I'll merge them. Now right click, perspective and I'm going to bring this part smaller and this part bigger so we have like a 3d effect I'm going to bring the eraser and I'll start erasing the the parts I don't want okay that's cool I'm going to select the first O and do the exact same thing okay go to filter motion blur. I'm going to duplicate, duplicate this four times and merge them and change the perspective again. There we go. Go to the eraser and erase the left part.
that's cool. Now go to the second O and filter motion blur. Duplicate this in total of four copies and merge them by command or controlling. Then command T, right click perspective and pull this side down and this side up. Press enter and erase this part. Now go to the L motion blur command J to duplicate them select all and hit command no select all and hit command E so they merge together command T perspective pull this side down and this side up let's press enter and go to the eraser tool and start erasing the a green part you don't want okay now we're about to finish uh, I just went, want to change the background to a new color so it looks a little bit better but first we're going to select all the layers and merge them together and we can apply a blur which is like Gaussian blur so it looks a little bit better I'm going to apply the blur the, the ray is about 1 pixel actually about 0.5 and press escape and I'm going to actually right click where it says FX and create layer. I'm going to select both layers and hit command E. There we go. Now com command U and check colorize. And I'm going to change the hue about, about a green color. Press OK. And that's all. I hope you guys like it. If you like, please comment and like the video. This is Neo Designs HD, and have a good day.